you're going to learn the top 10 classy communication habits. And no, I don't normally dress like this, and I also make no claims to be classy myself. But what I have done is make a mental list of the classiest people I've observed and how they communicate. So to be clear, the word classy is not about income. This list is about qualities and how classy people act, how they handle themselves. The bottom line is anybody can be classy. Number one, classy people use a moderate volume. They are not loud. They don't draw attention to themselves by being boisterous or putting on a big show. I'm thinking of a classy woman I know pretty well. She teaches college. She is self-controlled. She uses her inside voice, as we call it, not her outside voice. And at the same time, she's not timid, shy, or soft-spoken. She never makes you strain to hear her. She uses a moderate, clear, composed, and confident volume. Number two, classy people have a tailored appearance. Appearance is part of your visual communication. Classy people look put together rather than disheveled or shaggy. They're clean. They have a recent haircut or styling. They don't wear unnecessarily fancy, flashy, or trendy name brand clothing or make a big deal out of showing off their labels. That's because classy is not about drawing attention to yourself. But their clothes tend to be newish and fit them well. They may have a local tailor, for example, who alters their clothing so it fits them right. I'm thinking of a classy guy I know. He's a physician. He always dresses appropriately to fit the situation. His clothes tend to look new rather than worn out. There may also be a level of sophistication to a classy person's tastes that aren't immediately noticeable, like the fact that their clothing is made out of high-quality materials rather than wearing fast fashion. Their outfit is coordinated rather than mismatched. If they're wearing jewelry, it tends to be more subtle rather than eye-catching or loud. Classy people tend to have good manners, etiquette, and respect for others. They say please and thank you. They greet people well. They have a good understanding of manners, especially around eating meals and occasions like socializing at parties or introducing people to each other or how to navigate differences in social status. If they are out to dinner, they interact respectfully with servers and waitstaff. It feels as if this respect for others is driven by self-respect. They treat people well, not because the other person has always somehow earned respect in all those situations, but because that's the kind of person that they are. The way they treat others shows their own good character. Number four, classy people make good eye contact, meaning they don't stare or glare at people or give them stink eye, for example. They don't use eye contact to dominate others or make them feel uncomfortable. They also don't avoid eye contact or look around the room nervously. They make easy, comfortable eye contact. They look people in the eye long enough to acknowledge others and make a brief connection. Number five, classy people remember names. I ran into a fairly high status person I'm around occasionally who carries herself with class. She uses my name about once per conversation. I get the feeling that she's doing it as a good habit, but also as a sign of respect for me. She wants me to know that she knows me. But people like this don't overuse your name, like a pushy salesperson who says your name every sentence as a way to control the conversation or pretend that they're your best friend. It's much more straightforward for classy people. They remember and use your name to communicate that you matter. Number six, classy people take an interest in others and listen carefully. They are not self-centered. They take a genuine interest in other people and they'll spend about as much time listening as they do talking. I know a pretty classy attorney, a good attorney. He has an interesting life, but he always asks me a lot of questions about how I'm doing. He doesn't talk much about himself unless you ask. Classy people ask you some questions about yourself to either catch up with you and how you've been doing or as an attempt to get to know you better, what you do for a living, and learn a bit about your background as they listen carefully when you speak. Number seven, classy people pause before speaking. They aren't in a rush. There's no hurry. So you'll notice that when other people speak, classy people listen and even pause noticeably before talking next. I know a successful business owner and his wife who also owns her own successful business, 
And I'm always amazed at how consistently they pause to make sure I've finished my talking turn. They're pausing to process what I was just saying, and they take their time to patiently form their own thoughts. That's why classy people will rarely cut others off in a conversation or interrupt. That little pause leads to lots of good communication outcomes, and it comes across as really classy. Number eight, classy people have a generally positive attitude. You'll seldom hear them complain, at least not for very long. They are not all doom and gloom. Instead, they'll spend their time making complimentary remarks and focusing on the positive aspects of the situation. They tend to be agreeable and cooperative in conversations rather than conflictual or argumentative. They may have a point of view, and if there is a problem, they'll talk about it. But they'll also talk about solutions. They're ultimately looking for the good in a situation, and they focus on that. Number nine, classy people are not long-winded, and they don't dominate conversations. I've rarely seen a classy person who I would describe as a motor mouth. But I know lots of people who talk a lot. I talk for a living. Still, classy people are usually concise and make an effort to share the talk time equally with other people in conversations. They tend not to dominate and talk so much that others don't get a chance to contribute. And this goes well beyond listening that I mentioned a moment ago. For example, in a group situation, I've often seen classy people look for ways to involve less talkative people, perhaps by asking them a question to invite them into the group conversation. Number 10, they know when not to speak. This behavior is so subtle that it's easy to miss. They think before they speak, so they don't say something they'll regret. In many cases, they won't say anything. It almost comes across like wisdom when you see it. Classy people can sense when a conversation is turning into gossip or negativity or heading in a direction that's unhelpful. And they know how to stay out of it and how not to say anything that would encourage more negativity. They might just smile and nod and wait for the moment to pass, but I've seen them gracefully exit a group conversation if the tide turns to a topic they don't want to be associated with. These are the top 10 classy behaviors What else would you add to the list if you could suggest something? And what behaviors would you personally like to improve upon that we've been talking about? Feel free to leave a comment about that below. Until next time, thanks, God bless, and stay classy.